Hello, and welcome to another instructional video on computer security. We are your host, Terrence Byte, and Mac Row Processor. On today's episode, we will be discussing home wireless network security and how to defend yourself against unwanted intruders and hackers. We will cover the parts of a home network and the steps needed to make your home wireless networks protected and secure from outside users. A simple version of a personal home network usually consists of a few common components. Those are modems, internet devices, and access points or routers. Each of these devices are connected either through cables or wireless transmissions. The internet modem sits first in line as it receives the data and information being sent through the internet. Next, the router filters the data being transmitted to its appropriate device. This process of data being transferred goes back and forth between the internet devices and networks alike. An unsecure and unprotected wireless router is an easy doorway for attackers or the weekend hacker to obtain personal information without the user even being aware of what's happening. Yo man, in this episode we will discuss how to make your home wireless network secure for changing the default settings of your router. Making a home wireless network secure involves several steps, but it's not difficult. The steps necessary for securing it include locking down the wireless router, limiting users, turning on Wi-Fi protected access to, and configuring the network settings. Hey man, even a dummy like him can do it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one, Mike. The first step in securing a wireless network is to lock down the wireless router by creating a username and password. This prevents attackers from accessing the wireless router and turning off any security settings that already have been applied. Hey t -Bot, let me tell everyone about this. To access the wireless router, simply determine the IP address associated with the router and the default password. Next. Type the IP address of the router into the internet browser. Once the default password is entered into the system, a router configuration screen will appear. At this point, you want to change the router's default password to one of your choice. What Tanspot means by all that mumbo jumbo is just don't let the enemy walk in your front door. Put up a fight. No. Let's talk about turning on the Wi-Fi Protected Access 2. First off, all wireless routers and wireless devices today follow a standard for encrypting transmissions and authenticating users. Known as the Personal Security Model, it is designed for single users or small office settings of generally 10 or fewer wireless devices. The personal security model is divided into two parts, Wi-Fi Protected Access, WPA, or the updated Wi-Fi Protected Access 2, WPA2. Alright, so let Mike show you how to change your wireless settings. So let's go down to security options, and under that you want to look for WPA2. Once you see it, go ahead and take your mouse cursor and click on it, and slide right down to apply. Lastly, we want to configure our network settings. First off, there are several network settings that also can be used to enhance wireless security. These include Network Address Translation, NAT, Wireless Virtual Local Area Networks, Setting Up a Demilitarized Zone, and Port Forwarding. So I see some of you out there in that crowd give me funny looks. Like, what is this NAT? Network Address Translation. Well, it's simply like this. You cannot attack what you cannot see. NAT hides the IP addresses of network devices from attackers. Now that you have modified your wireless router's default security settings, you can rest at ease knowing your home network is safe and protected against unwanted attacks and threats. I hope all this information that we gave you today helps you on securing your home wireless network. As I showed you, it only takes a few easy steps to protecting your personal information from unwanted hackers. Please, tune in next time for our new three-part series, 
how to make a video project by dummies. Yeah, yeah, that girl last night. Oh, we're live.